may seem like something so normal, so easy, we forget where it all began. Why do we do what we do? Now, it could go on to talk about the history of marriage and mention how it's believed to have began in Egypt, but I won't see that. I could talk about how the ring is a symbol of eternity, and even the center of the ring is believed to have had significance of things to come, but I won't talk about that either. However, what will be talked about today is the love and commitment that will be made today in front of all you witnesses. Marcel Proust said, let us be grateful to the people who make us happy. Take my hands now Take him like they're yours Show me what you imagine Draw it on the wall I remember sitting with Jay at the watermark in Waterdown, a place him and I very rarely ever go to. Sometime after, we ended up at a beautiful restaurant in Burlington, quaint little bistro called Cats, where a young girl sat by herself, and Jason paid no real attention to her because him and Mr. Sanderson were playing a game they'd never played before called Golden Tea. And Ashley paid no attention to Jay because some weird guy asked her out. But I digress, moving on. As time went by, Jason and Ashley ran into each other again at the small, beautiful bistro called Cats in Burlington. And he was Jason being Jason. He drove her home. And the rest, as they say, is history. So just when we least expect it, and our eyes seem closed, fate steps in and opens before us. Because as we know, by the celebration of this love, fate always wins. Far away now, we'll be back by first light. Love is a temporary madness. It erupts like an earthquake and then subsides. So when it subsides, you have to make a decision. You have to work out whether your roots will become so entwined together that it's inconceivable that you should ever, ever part. Because this is what love is. Love is not breathlessness. It is not excitement. It is not the proclamation of promises of eternal passion. That's just being in love, which any of us can convince ourselves we are. Love itself is what's left over when being in love is burned away, and this is both an art and an unfortunate accident. Your mother and father's had it. They both had a roots that grew towards the underground. When all the pretty blossoms had fallen to their branches, they found that they're one tree and not two. So today, Jason and Ashley, before the eyes of God above and man on earth, you two become one tree, one union, one heart. To the place where I want, yes, where I want to be. I am overjoyed that Jay and Ashley have found one another. Ashley is the missing piece not only in his life, but also our circle of friends. Today I also took vows. Assuming the role of best man cannot be taken lightly. Uh, it means I will be a constant in your lives. It means that I will be there for you whenever you need me. No matter the distance, it means you have my devotion and unwavering loyalty because these are the traits of a best man. And as Jay has shown time and time again, these are most definitely the traits of a best friend. Love, how can I face you now after a feast? What I believe All the time I used to Worship you Was there to hold you Each time you fell Far from here I'm a dying soul in the war on love. Ashley, I know that you love Jason with every part of your being and the two of you will have a lifetime of love. I know that you will always be by Jason's side and you will seek the best in each other. Jason, 
Thank you for loving Ashley for exactly who she is. She may always be on her phone. She may always keep her car a disaster. She may only cook craft dinner and grilled cheese sandwiches. And she may have pretty strong reactions, maybe even freak out a little bit when things go wrong. But just know and always remember that Ashley loves you with all of her heart. She met her prince and her fairy tale began. You are in every way the best thing that has happened to Ashley. I'm not much of a speech giver, but I'm going to try and get through this. I would like to thank all our friends and family for joining us in celebrating Ashley and Jason's wedding. And Mother Nature for giving us such a beautiful day. I could not have asked for a better son-in-law. Couldn't have ordered a better son-in-law. I just want to say thank you to the good neighbor. Please join me in a toast to Ashley and Jason. My daughter Krista is an excellent judge of character. And Ashley, even before we met you, Krista was already saying things like, pretty sure this is it then. <laughs> She's pretty and funny. It was when Krista said, Jason and Ashley rem remind her of us. When Krista said that, I knew right away that you'd found your soulmate. Jason, as I watch you with all your friends today, I can't help but think how fast life has gone. One moment, you're born in Ottawa, and then seemingly in an instant, you're married to the girl of your dreams. Jason, Mom and I are as proud as parents can be. We love everything about you. Watching you grow from this adorable little boy to the man before us today. As parents, all we want for our children is for them to be healthy and happy and hopefully find their someone who they can love deeply and that person will love them back. Jason, you're married now, but you're always going to be our little boy. You have a tremendous responsibility to your wife. Please love her every day. Never let a morning or a bedtime go by without letting her know how much you love her. Never ever go to bed angry. Life is far too short your manners. No swearing in front of her. Hold the car door open for her. Open doors for her. Pull her seat out every chance you get. Your wife Ashley deserves all these little gestures. Remember, love isn't measured by things or money. Make sure she knows you love her every day of your life. Please join us in a toast to our son and his beautiful bride Ashley. Ashley and Jason, today is the first day of the rest of your lives. Enjoy every minute. <laughs>